Dubai is rapidly becoming one of the great golfing destinations anywhere in the world. And the visiting golfer need look no further than the luxury of the Address Hotel, which is also home to the Montgomery Dubai, a collaboration between renowned course designer Desmond Muirhead and Colin Montgomery. And who better than the victorious 2010 Ryder Cup captain and golfing world ambassador to tell us a little more about the layout that opened in late 2002, which he helped to create. When it carries your name, it is, it is very special. And you have to pinch yourself sometimes to to think, wow, this is, this is okay, you know? Yeah, yeah, this is, I'm, I'm very, very, very proud of, uh, of everything that goes on here at the Montgomery Dubai. Once you get past the spectacular setting, you remember that Montgomery won the European Tour Order of Merit a record eight times and grew up playing where the game of golf was invented. So there's no real surprise regarding the style that he chose for a course that hosts more than 40,000 rounds per year. It's mostly Lynx, Lynx golf. That's my, that's, that's Scotland, that's where we are, that's where I was brought up. I was brought up at Royal Troon Golf Club, a very links course. You can run the ball in here. So it gives opportunity for the average amateur not to have to have these so-called forced carries. A forced carry for an amateur is a real problem. Off the back tees, the Montgomery Dubai is a hefty 7,451 yards, so it can be made tournament ready if required. Fortunately for the amateurs, there are a variety of different tees, with the front and the back nines both a par of 36, with two par threes and two par fives on each side. I think they're quite uh, evenly matched. Uh, there's no one that's any easier than the other one. I think there's uh, difficulty to find, uh, and yet very playable. Colin's design philosophy of playability is shown perfectly on both the long and short holes. Monty was kind enough to take us out onto the course and give us an in-depth explanation of hole construction. Well, here we are at the, uh, the eighth hole at Montgomery Dubai. Uh, one of my favourite holes, to be honest. I mean, the backdrop is unique. Uh, the Dubai Marina in the back, it's like they've built New York's Manhattan sky <laughs> skyline within, within 10 years. It's incredible. Bunkers, yes, deeper than most on the golf course, uh, being a hazard on a par three. But again, key thing is that you can hit the ball low and run the ball up into the green here. But this is the challenge of, yes, this isn't 250 yards. There's not one hole. There's not one par three in World Wild Golf, 250 yards long, that's any good. The par threes in the world you talk about on the, on, on the major championship roster, Augusta springs to mind, I was saying earlier on, Troon, Pebble Beach, these great little short holes, great short holes. Based on that assessment, it's no great shock that Monty's par fives aren't brutally long either. Instead of intimidating the players with 660 yards of length, it's more about giving the golfer options and seeing if they then have the metal to pull off the shot they choose. Tee shot here at nine, uh, 550 off the back, but as a members play, it's sort of four, 480. So a potential birdie hole, really, uh, provided we miss the, uh, uh, the water on the left-hand side. It is a wide fairway. There's a bunker on the right, but uh, it is wide. It's 50 yards wide, so we should be hitting the fairway. Do we go for the green? Do we risk all trying to make the eagle and the easy birdie by hitting the green in two? you see on the left, but the trouble is, of course, there's water in the way. Or do we play the safe angle down on the right-hand side here towards the fountain with a six iron, say, and then in with a wedge? I like the design, I do. I like this risk-reward whereby you can make eagle, you can make birdie, but you can make seven. As one of the world's best players for the last 25 years, Colin has teed it up on spectacular golf courses all over the world. And once he realised that creating his own designs was a possibility, he started making mental notes and his own philosophy started to take shape. I'm very fortunate that, that within my career, I've played the best courses. I mean, when you think about, you know, the, when you think about the Cypress Point, Pebble Beach, Pine Valley, Augusta, that, that's a, generally the top four in the world. Muirfield comes in there sometimes, Birkdale. Well, I've played them all a number of times. And you do learn, of course you do. You, you learn from, from the great designers of the day, the designers that have stood the test of time too. Montgomery Design has either already completed or is currently constructing projects in the UK and Ireland, continental Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and the Far East. 
That list provides a clear indicator of the current and future direction of golf development all across the globe. I want you to want to come back to a Montgomery golf course anywhere worldwide. If you've failed in that challenge the first time, right, I want to come back and try and do it again.